What's up guys, this is Chronic Rush and welcome to episode 73 of my fifth 14 Road to Gold Around the World series. Welcome back guys and welcome to the two final games of the season where I believe we need to go and we got promoted which is a good thing but uh, we only need one more win from two games to go and win the division which is the main goal obviously and um, the squad we have, Bundesliga looks fairly solid indeed and I think I should, um, event should go and win. As you can see that I go and finally make that change in putting Boateng in the central role of the camps. Um, he seems to perform a lot better. I've been using him in there for the last three games, I think. Uh, I've just been changing him up in the subs, um, when you in, like, in the team management when you go in the game. But so we're going to go into that one game where we need that three points, and hopefully we can go and win the division, and uh, then move on to the cup, and hopefully have a fairly solid cup run as well. So we come against this squad here, and it's going to be a BPL score with Aguero, Walcott, Schürrle, Rooney, Cazorla, Podolski, uh, company at the back, Vidic, some very, very good BPL players, some of the best players in the BPL on FIFA to have, and um, go all the way to the second minute here, and uh, Bamiang here does some lovely work to find some space, go on the we go around all the tackles, and eventually gets brought down for a penalty there, and uh, that was a definite penalty, you could not argue with that one, and uh, that's a good start, we need these three points, so we're going to put on Diego here, and uh, he was probably the best penalty taker, 86 penalties, and all I had to do was just do my normal thing to the right, a little bit of power, and hopefully Peter Cech will miss it. And that's exactly what he does. Peter Cech delayed full and to the wrong side. So that made it 1-0 in the fifth minute here. Moving to the 31st minute here, Boateng here, picking up the ball out on the left-hand side, finding a nice ball into Aubameyang. Uh, fake shot, guess fairly lucky for that to deflect, and Aubameyang is going to rocket that. Keeper makes a good save, uh, but I believe that is Luis Gustavo who's there to get the rebound and put that pass check again to go and make that 2-0. Move just before half-time, though, and uh, he finds a lovely over-the-top ball into the path of Theo Walcott. And he's going to be bombing down that right-hand side. And he's going to cross this ball in. And I believe that is on to the volley of, I think that was Schürrle. Very, very nice finish indeed from Schürrle to go and make that 2-1. And I, I was wanting this win so bad. Um, I do not want to go and lose it. Saw that over-the-top ball of Boateng. Perfect weight, perfect ball. And over the top of the keeper to go and make that 3-1 in the 38th minute. And uh, this is four goals in the... Well, sorry, but that was... Whatever, but we're moving on to the 52nd minute here. I'm sorry, I misread that time. It's 48th minute, and he's going to pick up one Sammy Eto back post. I believe he made a change, putting in Eto instead of Aguero. I think Dante was absolutely dominating Aguero at the back, putting him in his back pocket. Going to the 56th minute here, still 3-2 up. Luis Gustavo just playing the ball simple, around the edge of the box, trying to find the right place. Pischek here goes for a shot, and somehow another one of those trickling finesse shots somehow gets in the back of the net. To go and make it 4-2 here. Very, very good indeed. We then pick the ball up. Go to here. Find a nice free ball. Unfortunately, that gets blocked. Intercepted by Vidic. And look at that for an over-the-top ball. Into the path of Aguero. And Aguero was still on. He must have swapped out. I think it was maybe Sherlock or someone. Um, for Eto. But uh, that made it 4-3 here. And this game was still tight. Moving to the 73rd minute here. Alaba here swings the ball in. I was doing anything to get some goals. And we're going to pick up a back post header with Luis Gustavo. Let's go and make that. I believe that is 5-3 now. And I think that was the end score. Eight goals in this game. Very, very intense game. And we end up winning. A um, lot more possession on my behalf. Same shots. And we have gone and won the division. Picking up 9,000 coins there. And I was pretty happy indeed. Very, very good performance by my players. And... Uh, and that was definitely the right move to go and put Kevin Prince Boateng in the middle, put Goats out because um, it just seemed to work a lot more better. Goats are obviously a bit more pace, is going to be able to get past players easier on the right hand side. And also, Boateng seems to be a lot more better in terms of positioning when he's playing in that centre role. I'm not too sure why. Obviously, his, I think it's his inform card, his Devo as a centre forward. I'm not too sure off the top of my head, but he just seems to work perfectly. He got decent passing, decent shooting, and it uh, helped a lot when I, I swapped him over. But we're going to go straight into the cup here, and hopefully we have another successful cup run to add to the um, uh, win in the season there. And we come against a BPL squad here. Very, very pacey players indeed, um, and some very high-rated players indeed. And I wasn't looking too forward to the squad because uh, this guy looked like a fairly solid player. Pitchcheck here sees the over-the-top run of Ghost, and that's what I mean. Ghost just seems to have that little bit enough pace to get around some of the players and find some nice space and look up for that ball to Diego and look at that for a finish. A fantastically well-worked goal there. Sorry, guys, in the 55th minute to go and make it 1-0. Moving to the athlete, that is the 66th minute here, and they get a fairly lucky wing to that ball to fall back, and Kevin Prince-Voting gets unlucky there. 
But I believe that is going to be Piszczek is on the rebound to go and put that into an open net to go and make it 2-0. Moving away to the 80th minute here. And Diego is going to pick this ball up again. And uh, I believe this guy had finished up playing here. Um, I think he had stopped playing for quite a long time. Maybe he only just done. And uh, I'm just doing a bit of skill and uh, just making sure I go and put a third one in there. Um, and uh, that guy made it 3-0 in the 82nd minute. And uh, I believe that was the end result there. Um, uh, sorry, 3-1. Uh, but so we're going to be moving in, in to, I believe it's the third game of this episode. We're going to be moving into the quarters of the cup. And uh, I was hoping to try and... The squad seemed to be performing a lot better. And I was hoping to be able to get all the way to the final at least. Um, I believe that is Koscielny there. Guess very unlucky to bounce that straight into the path of Aubameyang. And look at that for a finish. Left foot strike in the fourth minute to go and make that 1-0. Great start indeed. Probably not the best start though, but straight after that in the seventh minute, I kind of ballsed up with there. But uh, Socrates gets the interception. He probably should have played that a bit better. Uh, however, I lose the ball again in midfield over the top ball, and um, Lukaku got past Dante, and uh, that's a very, very good finish indeed from the Belgium youngster up front uh, to go and make it 1 1 here. Abamyang here picking the ball up in his, this centre roll here, finding a ball into Boateng. Quick 1 2. Uh, get fairly lucky for Luis Gustavo to have that ball back, and I uh, really should have done better that time as well. But uh, somehow that ball stayed with our players. We still got possession. And again, and uh, this is one of those goals where you just don't know how the fuck that has gone in the back of the net. Um, he would have been absolutely raging. Every single rebound was in my, um, just fell to my player. And it just didn't go well for him. But I'm not complaining. That made it 2-1 there. And uh, we're going to go into the 42nd minute here. And uh, he really should have done better. Defensive error by him. Bringing the wrong player out. And Javi Martinez is going to capitalise on that to go and make it 3-1 in the 43rd minute. And I believe this guy then actually stopped playing again. So we've got another guy to go and rage quit in the sense of stop playing. Which is probably even worse than... Well, obviously, again, a rage quit is quite satisfactory. Um, in the fact that you've got you've played so well, you've made someone want to give up. Um, but uh, when someone just puts down the controller, that's kind of annoying because obviously you've got to wait out the rest of the game before you can swiftly move on to the next game. But guys, this is coming towards the end of the episode. Make sure you click that like button because uh, we've been doing pretty pretty well in the last two episodes. The last episode picked up three wins. Um, this episode picked up three wins as well. So that's pretty solid indeed on a six-win streak with this squad so far. And uh, very, very good indeed. But guys, this is coming towards the end of the episode. If you like to make the like button, just subscribe to the series and any feedback in the comments would be much appreciated, guys. This has been Crush. Till next time, adios.